Time for Potentially Yours. Every Tuesday we try and give pets at Dane County Humane Society a new place to call home and Gail is here with Smokey. Smokey. Yeah. And Smokey has a best buddy mm -hmm. named Snow and so mm -hmm. they do need to be adopted together and Snow is a white ferret but Smokey here is this really pretty sable looking ferret and sable mm -hmm. is the brown and white and uh, she's about three years old. Her buddy Snow is about five. And ferrets can leave, live anywhere from seven to ten years old. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it uh, is a really, it's a commitment that you want to make sure that you're able to make. But these two ladies are in the prime of their life. They are buddies, so we want to keep them together. And uh, ferrets are a really unique pet. I've never had a ferret. Yeah. I have mm -hmm. some friends that have had them. They say they're very mischievous, they're uh -huh. active, they're curious social. What um, do you need? You need to have what's most important. I'll see if she goes in her house. Nope, she's not. Um, <laughs> you want to make sure that you have a cage. I'm just going to okay. hold you, honey. A cage is probably like three levels. They love to have hammocks that they can sleep in and that they can curl up in. They want them. Don't burrow. we all, Gail? Don't we all? I, wouldn't you just love that right now? I know. Um, but they also really need time outside of a cage. They need to be active and they need to be able to run around. So people a lot of times have a ferret-proofed room mm -hmm. because these little critters can get in the smallest space as possible. There you go. So we're hearing uh, some of the, the scratchingness of snow. No, no. <laughs> Nails. I mean, is there any concern with with uh, do they have sharp claws? Um, they do have claws. They do yeah. need to be trimmed, and they need regular veterinary care. But it's not something that you're gonna have to take them in okay. regularly. Um, but just give them mm -hmm. the necessary, you know, medical attention mm -hmm. if they need it. But what, yeah. what do they eat? Um, they do need to have a special diet. They do need to have kind of a meat diet. So there's certain pellets that they need to have that okay. are more high in the um, type of food that they need, and then some other treats. Um, I believe vegetables and a couple other smaller kind of ferret fun do foods you think that they this have. would be like a good starter animal? I think so. I think that they are unique. I think for kids, I mean, I'm holding him pretty well, mm -hmm. I mean, or she, but you mm -hmm. want to make sure if it's a little kid, if they drop her, uh -huh. I mean, she is kind of silly. Look at these bodies. Like, yeah. I, I love this. Like, <laughs> rawr, rawr. Uh -huh. like <laughs> and she just lets me do it. They'd like to be held. She's doing their exercises. Exercise. Doing your mm -hmm. ab workout. Crunches. But you yeah. want to make sure that you still are handling them appropriately. So little kids might want to carry them around, but you want to just so hold on. So we've got about a half a minute left, but I want to give you the opportunity to talk about the cats. Yeah, them. so we do have cats. We're, we're low on some animals, but we are doing a special seminar this Wednesday. If you're wanting to bring a new cat into your home, but you don't know how to introduce them to your mm -hmm. current cat, yeah. this is a great thing at the Humane Society this Wednesday. $10 donation is the Cat Care Clinic that is mm -hmm. wonderful, and they're doing that for Worth us. doing. Yeah. It's important. So, and then this is Journey, the yeah. cute puppy. Oh, Journey's still waiting for a good home. So come and give her and those fantastic ears a chance. Uh -huh. Great ears. Oh, she's great. And then yeah. Snow and Smoky, mm -hmm. come give these critters a chance too. Okay. Do your crunch work with yeah. them. I know, they'll work out with you. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Gail. <laughs> Thank you, guys. If you're interested in adopting or checking out other animals at Dane County Humane Society, go to giveshelter.org or set up an appointment at 838 -0413. As we head to break, here are a couple of animals available at Greene County Humane Society. We have more coming up on News 3 this morning. We'll be right back.